PrintFleet's comprehensive report builder tool allows you to make better decisions by easily creating customized data reports on the information you collect from your fleet of printers. Every instance of PrintFleet comes preloaded with a number of report definitions for all users, including the toner swap with history, coverage, and top 10 problem device reports. PrintFleet comes preloaded with over 20 different reports and also comes with the report builder functionality which allows you to create your own reports. Creating your own reports is super easy, so watch along and see for yourself. To get to the report builder, all you need to do is click on the reports tab from the PrintFleet home screen. Now that we have opened the reports feature, we can see that the report definition tab is open and displaying all of the reports that are available to you on your PrintFleet system. From here, you can see the name and definition of all of your reports and can run, schedule, and edit any of the reports you have access to at any time. To begin creating your own report, it is first important to make sure that you belong to a user role that has been assigned the report management permission. So check with your PrintFleet administrator to grant you access and then click on the Create Edit Report Definition button. Now we get to create our own report. The first step is to decide on the definition of the report, which is your structure, and then to decide what type of report it is. The name and description of your report will show up in the Reports Definition tab, so it is important to provide a good description of what the report will do to avoid confusion. We have the option to choose which type of report we want to build, and it is preset to the standard report type. Report Output Template refers to what will be displayed on your report once the definition is complete and the report is run. Here you get to choose a title and a subtitle for your report that fits the information you will be reporting on. The final step before we get into the meat and potatoes of the report builder is to choose your data set. Here you have two options, device, which will include device collected on the devices you monitor, and DCA, which shows it data on the DCAs themselves. Now that we've set up the logistics of the report, it's time to choose what data you want to display in your report. Clicking Add Field creates a text box with a pre-selected field, which you can then customize by clicking on the drop-down box below. From here, all of the data that you can report on in the Report Builder are grouped into field types. The Model field type contains fields such as Manufacturer and Model Name, while the Meters Common field type contains your Mono and Color Life counters, for example. You can add multiple field types and fields to your report by clicking the Add Field button. For example, if you use fields from the Common, Model, and Meters Common field types, you can create a report that will display how many pages were printed in a month by manufacturer and model of device. Once you have selected your field types and fields, you can choose to format the report by nesting, which is indentations in the report which group information, adding row counts and field summaries, as well as the ability to include charts to display your data. Once you are done with formatting, click on the Save button at the bottom of the screen. Now that your report definition has been saved, the Report Parameters section of the Reports tool will open. In this section, the actual data used to populate your report will be selected. The Report Parameters tab displays the definition summary and the current access settings for the report. By default, each report you create is set to private, meaning no other user can see, edit, or run your report. If you want to make your report open to additional users, all you need to do is click Share with Group, which opens up the Report Definition Access dialog. Selecting Share for Full Access opens up some additional options, allowing you to choose a specific group and user roles to give access to your created report. Once you are happy with your access level, your last steps will be to select the group you want to run the report against, the reporting period or number of days of data you will report on, and the management status. Once you are content with your report parameters, all you need to do is click Run Report, and your custom report is completed.